Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I continue my Slicer shootout. So let's go ahead and get started. Last week I started my 3D printer shootout looking at Cura, Prusa Slicer, and Orca Slicer. This week I finished printing a bunch of 3D benchies, and what I did was three benchies per slicer, so that way I could average them together. And I've gone ahead and compiled the results. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Before I begin going over the results, I just want to show you how I did my measurements. So with the Benchy, I measured the bridge roof length, the circumference of the chimney, or I'm sorry, the diameter of the chimney, the length of the Benchy, the horizontal width of the Benchy, the vertical height of the box in the back and then the vertical height of the total benchy. The length here, this 12 millimeters of the box in the back. And then I also did the port window diameter. And then the rear window diameter, which is nine millimeters. Now I also took a look at the weight of the benchy which ones weighed the most, and then also the estimated cost from Octoprint of the Benchy. Now in Octoprint, I'll real quickly switch over so you can see, I have print job history installed, and you can see right here that it's captured the cost based on what I input for the, for the filament, and then it also captured the length of filament used. Now I didn't use that measurement because that was uniform across the board. The costs were a little bit different per Benchy. So let's take a look at the results. So here are the results and I'm just going to cut to the chase and scroll down here. If I look at this, the amount of deviation from the measurements, the average deviation was 0.98 for Pura, 0 0.07% or Prusa Slicer, and then coming in third was Orca Slicer at 1.33%. So basically what I've done is I took the reference measurement, then the absolute measurement that I measured, and then came up with the amount of deviation, the absolute value of the deviation, and then a percentage of deviation. So that's the deviation divided by the reference and then average those together. Coming all the way down, again, 0.98 is the average percentage deviation for Cura. So Cura right now is slightly better than both Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer. Now in my experiment, Prusa Slicer is just 0.09% difference in deviation. Now if I look down here for the weights, Turns out Cura has the, had the least weight of 10 grams, followed by an average weight of 10.66 for the Prusa Slicer Benchies, and then lastly 11.67 for the weight of the Orca Slicer Benchies. And the last value I really want to look at here is the price according to print job history based on the cost of my filament. It was point. 28 cents, so 0.28 cents for the Cura Benchy, as opposed to 31 cents for the Orca Slicer and the Prusa Slicer Benchies. So it was a little bit cheaper and used a little less filament for the Cura Benchy. Now, my recommendation. I really think, based on this experiment, that Cura it is the winner. Not by a lot, but Cura still wins. Now, something else I want to point out is I did notice some quality issues with the other slicers, particularly Orca Slicer. I would notice some differences in the quality. So let me just show you those. Now, both Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer are using the same engine, Slice. If you look at this Benchy, 
It's a little hard to see. It's actually rough here on these layers. So it's a little bit messed up. Now I got the same thing for both the Prusa Slicer and the Orca Slicer models. Now that could be a tuning issue, but I tried to use the same settings for both printers. And both of these happen to be the third Benchy. And I went ahead and if I look through these somewhere here, let me find the Cura Slicer number three. So here's Cura Slicer three, and you notice the the issues with the layering, particularly on the cab of the Benchy, don't seem to be there. Now this Benchy actually printed last, so it wasn't necessarily a printer issue. I believe more it was a settings issue inside Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer. Again, based on my findings. I would say that Cura, as of right now, gave the best and most accurate Benchies using the base settings in the software. Now, if there's interest in the future, I'll probably expand this research to other slicers. If there's a slicer you'd like me to test and then compare to everything else, let me know and please post it in the comments. I hope in the near future to conduct some more experiments. Probably in the next week or two, I'm going to be doing another Mercury One build. So keep an eye out for that video. Again, I want to thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please post them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Feel free to email me as well at minimal3dp at gmail.com. If you like what I'm doing, please feel free to share and give me a like. And I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks and happy 3D printing.